I had a lot of responses on my What is a Geek video. And I said you needed to have experience of all platforms. Some people didn't agree with me, but that's not for me to argue. Um, today, what can you see? Well, you can see Linux, Ubuntu. Covered, sorry. This one's the KDE desktop environment, but the factory Ubuntu runs the name. There are several different ways of d displaying Windows in Linux. One's called GNOME, one's called KDE, and one's called ICE. But the reason why I'm saying KDE is KDE is probably better for um, people that have never used Linux before. I'm not saying that you've never used Linux before, but just to be safe. So I just want to run for it. We've got the applications, tasks, and desktop systems here. That's like your start menu in Windows. Here's where you can access your documents, your home folder, your, your CD drives, your network, and your user folders. Show desktop command, quick launch, and whatever windows you have open. One thing I want to highlight is that like with Windows, like with Windows or OS X, Linux needs to needs to be updated. As you can see, I've got mine running here. Um, the one thing you do need to realise though is that um, there are thousands of different versions of Linux all for very different things. So yeah. Um, with Linux, what you really do have to realise is that there's no co commercial support, there's no company support unless you donate to them. So it comes pre-packed with your office apps and lots of them. Open Office is just like Microsoft Office. So you can um Maximize that you can write documents. And you can save out in Windows compatible formats. Um so yeah. What the thing is, Linux tends to run well on old hardware. The hardware is more simply there for it. So you can save in dark, dark and things, things like that. So yeah. This is just a quick overview really. We're going to get more advanced in the next few videos. Thanks for watching guys.